Real Women Reveal, being revealed, keeping it raw at Club Central. So we're just going to have a round table to talk some, to some of the ladies and get some real feedback. What I'm going to ask the ladies first is what is the biggest misconception about black women? So we're going to go around. I'm going to go around. I'm going to go around and get you all. We talking about what is one and just say one answer then we're going to come back and talk about the biggest misconception about black women. The biggest misconception about black women. The biggest misconception about black women. We all have bad attitudes. That we all have bad attitudes. All right. All right. Biggest misconception that we are hard to get along with well I wouldn't necessarily say hard to get along with but I would just say that we're very hard or cold in general that we're you know we're very strong hard and cold in general like we're not sensitive okay biggest misconception about black women I'm gonna hold a mic on you I'm gonna hold a mic <laughs> that we're all draining the system and we're the welfare mothers Whoa. Biggest misconception about black women? That we're all cut from the same mold. Okay, all right. Biggest misconception of black women? That uh, we're all angry and hard to get along with. Biggest misconception about black women? Um, that we want to be in charge. I want to be in charge. Oops, did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> Biggest misconception about black women? <laughs> that um, we don't want a man to tell us what to do. We do. We do, in a sense. We do respect the Biggest mis misconception about black women? I would say that uh, that we don't know how to get along with each other and love each other. I was going there next. I'm so glad you said that. <laughs> Woo! Biggest misconception about black women? Um, that we don't, um, that we don't like, that we're not cultured, that we don't like to go to see art museums and that we don't do, you know, very nice restaurants and stuff like that. We, we are very cultured women. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Biggest misconception about black women. Wow. <laughs> I came here just to support. I knew you was going to get me on camera. Ah! I knew it. Um. I think pretty much everyone has said what, what's in my mind, that, we, that, that we're not cultured, that we're loud, that we can't get along. I didn't hear you. You're not loud enough. No, <laughs> <laughs> Biggest misconception about black women. Wow, that we are uneducated. Uh, we don't know how to carry ourselves well. She pushed a PhD. And, what? Yes, thank you. Uh, and that, that uh, we just all baby mamas, just running around with kids we can't take care of. What? I know that's right. Let me call my baby dad. I mean, uh, <laughs> biggest misconception about black women. I think one big misconception about black women is that we are not sexually explorative or experimental. I think that's a big now that's a whole nother <laughs> whoa she done went freak i mean okay uh, <laughs> biggest misconception about black women hmm question well um i think probably we think we know it all that we know it all that's that we know it all yeah okay you know okay. we know but we want to know that's good <laughs> The next question that I want to go to that's something that's really dear to me and one of the reasons that I started and founded Real Women Reveal is sisterhood. I don't feel I see enough of it, so I want to ask the ladies about some sisterhood. All right, ladies, we're talking about sisterhood. I love sisterhood. So what do you want to see more with women or what are we lacking? Some of them are lacking self-confidence. I am one to never, never, ever sit up here and talk about another woman or how bad or anything. Okay, scratch that. <laughs> no, this is live and real and raw. <laughs> self-confidence on other women. 
Okay. Because I'm never jealous or envy of another woman, and more women in Arizona that I found are like that. They hate on so many other women because of what they look like, what they wear, what they've accomplished, what they're trying to accomplish. I come from California, beautiful women everywhere. They don't worry about that. And there's so, there's few. You see it more in Phoenix and Cali? So much more in Phoenix. And I don't know if there's other reasons behind it. And that's terrible because they should still feel better confident about themselves and not worry about the next woman. All right. Sisterhood, Lady Chanel, what you want to see, girlfriend, with some sisterhood? I what are we lacking? I, I, Crabs, not, in, yeah, crabs in a just, barrel. Let's get it out. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and oh. be honest. The whole crabs in a barrel mentality. Do not make any of your sisters suffer because you may be dealing with any type of insecurities. It's about things like this, Audrey. Thank you, friend. Thank you for bringing us all together. Thank you for bringing some strong, educated, professional women of Phoenix together who share common interests, who may can learn from one another from various situations and things that we go through. Sisterhood is vital. It's who we are. It's our connection. It is looking out for one another and sharing our experiences so that the next woman can have a heads up or have a better understanding or just have the support she needs. <laughs> sisterhood is so... What sister. do you want to see in sisterhood? What, what are we lacking? And what's your name? I'm Nicole. And right now I was uh, brought here by Patrice and I'm very much grateful because I'm in a very, very... Um, difficult place in my life right now. Um, I just got out of a long-term abusive 15-year relationship, so it's just very hard for me to understand what my purpose is right now. We got you. We got you. We're going to reveal all that. We got you. We got you. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm grateful right now, like I said, for the support because for her to invite me out, you know, this is something that's very new and hard for me you know, to be open, because I'm a very private person, you know, and um, and it's just been hard. So I'm, I'm very appreciative. On the sisterhood. Lady Tarver, what's some sisterhood? What are we missing? What do you want to see? I want us to stop thinking there's not enough, whether it's men, money, success, fame, fashion, beauty, there's enough for all of us to enjoy. We don't have to have that crabs in a barrel mentality with each other. We can support and uplift and embrace each other. Because I, I'm my sister's keeper. That's my job. I'm going to need some keeping in a minute. <laughs> sisterhood, sisterhood, what are we missing? What are we lacking? What should we have? What's your name, too? I am Constance. And I think we're lacking love. That's loving one another, loving our families, loving our men, our children. And I think that's what we need more of, to love each other and to understand each other. Okay. All right. All right, my mother-in-law. What, what are we missing in sisterhood, Mom? What are we missing? In sisterhood? Sisterhood. What are we lacking or what do you see more of? Um, probably more small groups of sisters sticking together um, uh, working on uh, whatever issue that they can work on not trying to do everything but just to work on an issue collaboration so, yeah collaboration. collaboration okay all right all right miss Laura what are we missing in uh, sisterhood and I know you work with a lot of women with hopes crossing hopes crossing so what are we missing or what would you like to see sisterhood? I think we're definitely missing the collaboration piece and I believe there's a lot that sisters have to offer, their talents, their skills, their knowledge and we need to share more of that. I also think we need a, an environment where we can all come together on a regular basis to share some of that, brainstorm around what our true issues are and how do we go about solving those, some of those problems, are, especially in our youth. Our youth are so important and we're failing them right now. So. Thank you. Guys, check out Home Crossing, too. Sisterhood! <laughs> sisterhood, what are we lacking? What do you want to see more of as far as sisterhood amongst women? Well, what I love to see would be just us respecting one another and collaborating and getting along. Um, 
giving each other the opportunity to get to know one another as opposed to what you've heard or what you've seen, you know, what you think you know. And, you know, yeah, that kind of stuff. Because we're at that age now. We're supposed to leave those games back alone. So I believe that we should be able to get together, discuss things, and respect each other's opinion. You know, agree to disagree if we have to, but at least listen to the other person. Cause you don't you don't know a person until you sit down and you talk to them. That's real. That's mm-hmm. real right there. Cool, cool. All right, some sisterhood. What are we missing? What are we? What do you want to see more of with sisterhood? Um, I think we need to stop judging each other so harsh. Uh, as soon as we walk in the room, we we immediately start picking at each other wow. right away. And we need to stop doing that. We really do. We need to accept each other for who we are and love ourselves. We, 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 yes, we are. We all have our differences. Stop picking it apart. Right, right. Okay, that's real. So, sisterhood, are we missing something? What would you like to see more with sisterhood? Sisterhood, sisterhood. Um, I would like to see more uh, encouraging, supporting. I'd like to see more mentorship. I'd like to see more of us being the voice of wisdom to each other. Even if we have to be, um, even if we have to make a negative comment, do it in love. Um, And I would like to see us breaking down the boundaries of race, culture, religion, because we all have something more in common in sisterhood, and that's what I'd like to see. That's right. That's what Real Women Revealed about, breaking it all down, all of the layers off. Some sisterhood, what are we missing? What do you want to see? You know what I want to see, like back in the day when we were growing up, when everybody had each other's back in the neighborhood, your kid, you didn't have to, you didn't have to worry about your kids not eating because if they didn't eat at your house, they had friends whose mother said, "Come on in, I, I, I got you." You better get in here and eat. You better get in. When your kid act up, you had the mother, hey, hey, don't let me get on you, and then tell your mother when you got home. That's what I want to see. I want to see that go back to that that way, so our kids don't have to worry about playing in their neighborhood at night or during the day. They can, they know that when. You say you got to do it, and I'm going to tell your mother, they know that you care. Right. That's what I want to see. I like that. I like that. I like that. Old school. Yeah. Wow. Hood, what are we missing? What oh, we man. Uh, I want to see us loving ourselves more. I see so many of us depressed and angry and sad and looking for a man to fill us up and give us those things that, we, that they can never give us. We have to feel complete within ourselves. And now I think that's going to help with what other, the other comments that the women said about us not judging each other, about helping lift each other up, because it starts with loving yourself. Yeah, good, good, good. Sisterhood, sisterhood, what are we missing? What do you want to see, Miss Patina? I want to see in sisterhood the willingness for our sisters to reach out for the support during circumstances. I want to see people raw and saying I'm going through something and I could use your help and I want to see a response in sisters load up the car and okay. right judgmental su- yeah. non-judgmental support I, I want to see that and I want to see this group of women be able to get together and take our shoes off and cry together share some things because we're all going some through some similar things and to be able to cry because when we unleash ourselves and uncover ourselves then we can be really be honest and true and then really we can then lend support I want that's to deep that. that's deep all right miss patrice what do you want to see with sisterhood more what are we lacking or what do you want to see? i think we're just laugh, lacking that camaraderie you know us being together and just hanging out like an event like this you know you don't see where people can just really show their true selves you know, everybody's business, you know, and they got to put on this facade. You don't need that. Right, you know, right. you just need to be real with each other. So I like to see us have more of those uh, waiting to exhale parties, you know, okay, where you got to just like, I'm right. free. I, I can talk to you about anything, anything, anything. you know, not and not be judged, right. not be judged right. at all. Because at right. the end of the day, we are who we are. You know, that can't be changed. So that's right. That's right. All right. We're keeping it real a little bit. Um, this event 
was really meant to bring women together and focus on some sisterhood and show self-esteem and self-worth to let women know we have each other's back like all the ladies said so stay tuned look forward to uh talking to you ladies again check us out on facebook real women revealed twitter and let us know what you think okay thanks a lot